Since Zero DTE has been the coolest kid on the playground, Tom and Tony at Tasty Trade finally jumped on the bandwagon to harvest all those likes and shares. When Tasty Trade started their Zero DT coverage earlier this year, most of us were ignoring it. They were focusing on long trades that were unprofitable and just missing the mark. But two videos recently popped up in the Speaking Greeks Discord that caught me off guard. Tasty Trade is typically known for their research, but when I saw that they were pumping out results based on 57 days of data, I had to whip up Option Omega and fact check these two. In their market measures from June 2nd and June 6th, they discussed selling 30 wide iron flies and managed them based on profit levels and based on time, respectively. One of these two tests actually has Tom so excited that they're going to start implementing it into their trade plan and forward testing. So let's check out Option Omega and see if the juice is worth the squeeze. So we're going to go ahead over here and click New Back Test. Now, I've said before, I like to do my back test post Volmageddon. So I start them in 2019 and I'll go up to the most recent date that we can. Um, I select the Iron Flash strategy and just like their back test, I set it to 30 wide and I set the, zero, uh, the day's expiration to zero. I set the max contracts per trade to one so that we don't scale it up and the earliest entry time that Option and Omega supports, which is 9.32 a.m., Set the 5% profit target, and remember, there are no stops. Uh, we're going to use the Tasty fee structure, which is a dollar to open, zero to close, plus 65 cents for SPX contracts, and then we're going to re-enter every trade after a profit target is hit. And we're going to click Run, and let's see what we get. And here are the results. It looks like negative $32,000 on a $100,000 account, negative 8.6% Kager with a 45% drawdown. And as you can see, as I scroll through the trade log, just real quick, you can see the wins average like 60 bucks, 70 bucks, but the losses are up there in the like 1100 because of the a lack of stop loss. So they're taking max loss on those spreads. Um, I do appreciate them doing this, though, because it's a great example of how a strategy with a high win rate can still be detrimental to an account. Since Tasty Trade likes to manage their flies at 25%, and I remember Tom being pretty excited that 25% was a good management point for these zero DTE flies, for fun, let's see what a 25% profit target looks like on these trades. So again, we go to new back test and we can just simply scroll down and change the profit target to 25%. And as you can see, everything else stays the same and we're going to go ahead and click run. And you'll find that it's actually worse. Um, on a $100,000 account, it's negative 57,000 with a negative 17% Kager and a 68% drawdown with a 70% win rate. Okay, so it's evident that managing based on a profit target doesn't work. So let's go back and we will rerun the test where we just close and recenter every hour. So Option Omega actually makes this really simple. We can go up and click New Back Test and it will have all of our settings from the last test that we ran. I'm going to set it to the last 90 days and the reason why I do this is because I'm going to run multiple tests and I don't want to wait the whole time for it to, to, to load up. So I'm going to do these real quick tests and do them every hour and save them and then construct them all back together in the portfolio view and then get the big picture from 2019. So all we have to do is scroll down and remove that profit target of 25% set an early exit condition of 10.32 a.m. because they found that an hour was the best, and then um, disable the re-enter trades after exit and click run. As you can see, these results are not good, but we're going to save the back test, and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to do this again for every hour up until 3.30, and then we're going to construct it all in the portfolio view.
So we're going to head over to the portfolio view. And this is where we're going to set the 2019 start date and the end date of yesterday to get the most recent data. I'm just going to search my back test for the Tasty Trade Iron Fly back test that I did. And as you can see, I did every hour block and I'm going to allocate 100% to each one since they close themselves out after an hour. I'm going to go ahead and click run and let Option Omega work its magic. And then you'll actually see that this trade actually does have some positive expectancy to it. You do get $55,000 on a $100,000 account. It's a 10.5% CAGR with a 19.6% drawdown. And it, and it does underperform the S&P 500 index by a little bit. As someone that has been trading zero DTE for years and has traded an iron fly strategy in a different manner, I have to say that Tasty Trade really missed the mark on this one. I'd even argue that it's reckless and irresponsible to put out that the research that they did and double down by expressing their excitement to implement it in their own trading plans based on only 57 days of data whenever at least the profit target based version is going to lead to ruin, but to each their own. Remember kids, trade small and more importantly, trade often. Until next time.